hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you all for coming back and i believe you are all doing great by the grace of god if you are new you are warmly welcome to my channel and i hope you join us after watching this video till the end so family today we are making another oil and it's none other than avocado oil there are two ways of making the avocado oil we have the cold press method and the hot press method in this video today i'm showing you the hot press method and i'm showing you four ways that you can use the hot press method to make your own avocado oil at home let's get started first of all you need avocados and the type of avocados that you use are the overripe ones and soft ones obviously when it's overripe it's soft okay if you use the ripe ones just like that you will not get much oil as to when you use the overripe and soft ones so bear that in mind now we're going to scoop the buttery flesh out of the skin and then we continue from there in this video i'm using only three and a half avocados Now we are going to mash it into a paste. You can use a spoon, you can even blend it, that's even the easiest method, or you can use um, anything to just press on it, press it down, or just crush it to break it apart and then mash it into a paste, like I'm doing. Now that we are done mashing it, into a paste i'm going to divide it into four parts and then i'll show you the four ways of making avocado oil using the hot press method at home to add carrier oil to two of the avocado paste and i'm using coconut oil you can use any oil of your choice so this one right here goes to the cooker top and i'm going to do the frying method okay and then the one in the frying pan this very one i'm adding no carrier oil to it i'm just going to let the avocado release its own fats or oil out and you will see the difference okay so these two right here in the tray they are going into the oven the same thing i'm going to add carrier oil to one and i'll add no oil to the other one so the oven is already preheating and they are going straight into the oven so now let's see how they are going to just release their own fats i mean the ones without the oil and let's see how much fats or oil they will release as compared to the ones that we added our own carrier oil so guys the more oil you want then the more avocados you will need to use okay when it comes to the one that we are adding no carrier oil in order to get more avocado oil you need to use more avocados and use the overripe ones and soft ones instead as compared to the one that we are adding our own carrier oils hope i've made myself clear here and with this frying method we are only infusing the nutrients and color of the avocado into the carrier oil so we are going to be frying this avocado paste till it turns brown or golden brown the same thing is going to happen to the one in the oven you're going to let it also be in the oven so it turns brown or 
black or even golden brown. Okay, it shouldn't be green like this. It should change color to brown, golden brown, or even black. And you can see we've actually achieved that. So we're going to turn off the heat for it to cool down, and then we will just strain the oil from the avocado pulp. Family, so far, if you're enjoying this video and it's helpful, please don't forget to share, comment, like, recommend this channel to friends and families who may be interested in my recipes and my ideas. Okay, and if you are new on my channel, hey, you are warmly welcome. Please click on the red subscribe button, click on the bell button to be notified and to join this amazing family. So guys, now they are all out and you can see that they are all black or brown. It shouldn't be green as I said. This is what we are looking for and we have achieved it. If you remember, this particular one had no carrier oil, yet it's been able to release a little bit of fat or oil on the surface and it's looking all glossy. This one right here in the frying pan also didn't have any carrier oil, yet it's been able to release a little bit of its own fat or oil in the avocado pulp. Now onto the ones that I added carrier oils. You can all see that clearly the oil in this one is more than the ones that I didn't add any carrier oil. The same thing with the one in the loaf pan. It also has oil in it than the one that I didn't add any carrier oil. It's time for me to strain the oil from the avocado pulp. So now I'm going to combine the ones that I didn't add any carrier oils together. And we will see how much oil we get from both combined. And that will also make the video short and simple because I don't need to strain it one after the other. It will take time. And I'll also combine the ones that I added carrier oils together. And I'll do the same with that as well. Please know that if you want to get much oil from your avocados, then let it be overripe and soft. My avocado didn't have those features. It was only ripe, but it didn't have that softness and overripe features, okay? So it affected the amount of oil that the avocado should have produced. I hope it's clear here. So if you want to extract much oil from your avocado, then let it be soft, overripe, but not rotten. Okay? Soft, overripe, but not rotten. Okay? And that will help the whole process. And you'll be happy to see how much oil your avocado will produce. So we are done combining both. And we are going to put this aside. And extract the oil from the one that we didn't add any carrier oil. I'm using the muslin cloth to strain the oil. You can use nutmeg bag or chiffon cloth or any cloth that you think can help you strain the oil. Use it to strain the oil. You can even use a sieve or a strainer that has small or tiny holes to do this. You can clearly see that this particular avocado pulp don't have enough or much oil to be strained. Since we didn't add any carrier oil and it had to release its own fat or oil from its buttery flesh. As I've explained earlier, the more soft and overripe avocados you use, the more oils you'll be able to extract. And now this is how much avocado oil you were able to extract. Just a little amount, but it's fine. So the more avocado paste you use, the more oil you are likely to get. Okay. Now in the same muslin cloth, we are going to strain the other avocado oil the one that we added carrier oils, okay? And we will see how much oil you're going to get in total.
After straining the oil, let the oil sit for some time so that the residue will settle at the bottom and then the clear avocado oil will be on top. Afterwards, use your spoon or ladle or any other thing that, that you can use to collect the oil from the top. Put it in your container, in your dry container and keep this in a cool and dry place. Or after the avocados pop or residue settle at the bottom and then the clear avocado oil settle on top, you can then put this in the freezer for it to solidify and then bring it out. Use your spoon or knife to scrape the residue part and then you can melt back the oil and that will be it guys. You then keep it in your container, dry container. Also keep it in a dry and cool place. Keep straining so you see no more residue or pulp, okay? Now, family, we are at the end of the video and I believe you've been inspired. So, if this video is helpful and you've enjoyed my video so far, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and recommend this channel to friends and families who may be interested in my recipes. And if you are new, hey, you are warmly welcome. Please join our family by clicking on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell button to be notified and be updated whenever I upload new videos and you will never ever regret it. Avocado oil has so many benefits and you can apply this in your hair for massive growth and to treat dryness and more. This method is the hot press method. And whenever I use the hot press method to make my avocado oil, I then use it mainly for my hair and not for cooking or for my skin. So family, I'll be bringing you the cold press method, which can be used for cooking, for making your salad dressings, for the skin and for the hair. That one is the best for me. So I'll bring it to you very soon. So watch out and thank you all for watching this video. And please stay safe. Take care and enjoy. Bye-bye.